Hello and welcome to Hoss and Bros. This week, we're answering some deep, deep, ancient questions. Are, are they really ancient? Ancient? Old. Really old. For an open window on the crabby world, Max and Chris from Hoss and So this week we're having dessert instead of beer! Yeah, because we decided to replace that since we, uh, as you can see, lost one of our cameras. Yes, we did. Yes, we I'm in the process of, the of selling one of the cameras. So, we're currently... So if you're, if you're interested in buying a camera, let us know. Down in the comments, there's a link on the KGG uh, <laughs> listing. Yes. It's, it's flying. People are running it. Oh, yeah, it is. It really uh, is. It's a good it, camera. Max is signing the camera. If you're buying it, he's signing it. I, yeah, of course. We will both sign the camera yeah, <laughs> if you want if us you... to sign the camera. <laughs> and you buy it. <laughs> uh, like, no kidding. Put, put the listing down. You know what? If you buy the camera... Uh, I'll include a couple a couple cans. Oh, yeah. that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. I like that. I like that. <laughs> that's like an upsell. It's an upsell. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of the whole thing. So we're filming on a new camera. Uh, so if things break down, if if you don't like it, if you don't like the whole setup, the way it looks like, let us know in the comment because this is where we do some little tweaks and perks yeah. and all that stuff. Because we we get to see what's what's happening right now on the little screen. It's a little lower. Usually it's it's next to it, uh, and yeah. everything seems to be okay. It's yeah, a little so less wide than you were used to, but not that much. Not scared. by Don't that much. Um, Talking about that much. So uh, we're gonna be talking about a cocoa. Ca in, ca in coffee, in coffee, in cacao, 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 cacao. But that's in French, cacao. In English, yeah, it, yeah, it's but, cocoa. But I've seen some uh, guys from uh, Stone calling they it, call uh, it cacao as well, ca like cacao. He was pronouncing it that way, cacao, hmm. cacao, like cacao, 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 cacao. Okay. Not related to guns, so far. <laughs> So, uh, mm. cocoa or cacao or whatever yeah. uh, in beer. Now, um, it's actually a lot more ancient ancient than you think. Yeah. Uh, it goes back to about 14, uh, 1400 BC uh, in Central America. Whoa, so, the Aztecs were using uh, cocoa in their, their religious rites and religious uh, ceremonies. Okay. Like, before they would uh, sacrifice someone to the gods, they would give them a, a cocoa mixture with blood to really cement the fact that he was going to die. Oh, wow. That's... Uh, uh, it's heavy. It's really heavy. So I, I feel better drinking that beer now. <laughs> uh, I don't feel... So yeah, the, the yeah, way like the way fine, yeah. the way cocoa works is you have to ferment the uh, seeds in the, the the pulp. So you have to basically just you break it open, you ferment it, and that's how you're going to extract all those, those chocolate flavors. Which, now, as you know, beer kind of like starts with fermentation. Yeah, exactly, and then that's exactly how uh, chocolate was actually discovered. So they were brewing beer, and they were using the the, the cocoa in the beer to try to get, like extract the sugars from that. Which, in part, extracted a lot of flavors, fla yeah. chocolate flavors. But before that, they didn't know it's chocolate. They just no, called no. it flavors. Uh, now, the, 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 the Aztecs loved it, uh, naturally. And they kind of uh, weeded off the beer part of it until it was just <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> Okay. And the other yeah. thing you have to remember is back then, those um, those recipes, no no sugar was added. It was all just straight sure, up cocoa. Straight up cocoa. Yeah, straight and up cocoa. Little thing, yeah, thing right there. Escovesa from Stone Brewing is 100% brewed with 100% uh, 100 chocolate. So, nice. like you said, cocoa fermented from the farm, uh, sun dried, then put in a truck to California, then processed by the Stone uh, Brewing uh, team over there to create 100% chocolate. Nice. So it's a, you showed on the. Thick, yeah, thick, thick. I, I, um, you should put the link of the video right there, like in the, yeah, in the yeah. down there, because it's really interesting. Sweet. Because you, they go in depth how they create the, the actual chocolate brick that goes into the beer. Nice. End of the parentheses. Continue, Max. Uh, so yeah, so the the sugar was added when they they, they transferred it to Europe. But anyways, uh, another fun fact uh, about about mm -hmm. chocolate or, or cocoa in yeah. beer is that uh, a lot of stouts are gonna have are not gonna have cocoa added. It's mostly just using the the malt and then you extract different flavors. Yeah. But it's a good thing to to mix it up. Up. Add some cocoa with some various grains to try to imitate the the, the the flavors and try to up it a bit. 
every time we're talking about adjuncts, it's the it's the way yeah. we kind of like see it, and it's the way like all the brewers uses it. So mm. it's to complement flavors that are really pre already present in the beer, yeah. or just to create like flavors out of this world. Although there was an example that a uh, brewer gave me once is uh, what's actually did you give it to me? It was the blueberry uh, thing in beer. I, I think it's like that people. Um, they associate when they, flavors when, like when you think blueberry, you think blueberry pie. Not you don't think blueberry. the actual fruit. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's you. Yeah. But I heard I it, it, for, I, I heard it from another brewer, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> I, I I can't really like yeah. hone that thing. But people, when they taste something, they always taste. They associate it to something. Like it's it's a memory yeah. taste, not a real taste. So when you take a raspberries, let's say, um, it's always a little bit tartar and a little bit more acidic. Yeah, but everyone thinks about like that sweet tart, uh, like the sweet. I forgot. So the if word. you want a raspberry yeah. flavored beer, it's gonna be sour at some point because yeah. raspberries are a little are bit sour. sour. They're not tarts. Sweet. Yeah, they're not sweet unless you make them in a pie. Exactly. In that so. case, what you want is actually a, a, a pie flavored beer. Exactly. So, anyways, that's my part for the history. That's what for I got. Cocoa. So, what do you? Uh, have? But basically, <laughs> cocoa. You already like. You, it stole my part, but you talk about the fermentation process. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was quite excited well, okay, about that. Yeah, I know. It's it really is, cool. Yeah, but yeah. it's, it's a but cool how they discovered it, so I had to yeah, mention yeah. it. That, that's perfect. That's <laughs> perfect. Uh, but um, when you're brewing with cocoa, so it's it's a it's a really, really good adjunct. Because we talk about fruits, but fruits are ne never that stable. Cocoa mm -hmm. is stable and it's easy to use. Uh, it, there's plenty of power into it. Uh, it's easy to, like, I repeat again, it's easy to use, but uh, it comes with four different forms so you get cocoa syrup air fire wind water teamwork is it really no no oh, high five no but teamwork it's okay. good yeah but i thought it was it's in the <laughs> no. four elements so that's how i, no. I imagined so, so it so you, you get a syrup extract <laughs> okay you get the cocoa powder okay so syrup is kind of like water that's kind of like air Kind of, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't around. sniff it. Don't sniff it. Um, you can get chocolate bars straight up the oh, bar, but kind of like not earth. use don't use chocolate bars that they have been um, like created with the butter or sugar or oils mm -hmm. because most of the sugars of the chocolates are being built that way. Yeah. And last but not least, cocoa nibs. It's like fire. So you talk about it's roasted, right? <laughs> yeah, it's roasted. So, so I, I was actually right. Mm -hmm. Everything I said was just correct. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine that's fine all right perfect uh, <clears throat> so syrups easy to use fat free they dissolve really well in the beer so it's an easy way to add chocolate in your beer then cocoa powder uh, it's the only thing i had because I, I was doing brownies the other day oh yeah brownies yeah uh, and uh cocoa powder is a little bit heavier in fats so harder to dissolve in your beer but it's a great way to mash and whip okay um, then the chocolate bars, you need to melt them down, put them in your mash, or you can put them like the syrup. And then the cocoa nibs, which are a brewer's favorite because um, they're kind of like the, the sharp spice to add to it. They add, they add the kick, it's pure chocolate, and it's uh, it's it's a adjunct that you need to master to brew with. Well, I feel like also, seen as you have to ferment uh, cocoa nibs to get chocolate in the first place, and just adding them at their source, mm -hmm. It's probably the best way to go. Exactly. A little bit like with coffee, what you can do is you add just the coffee grains in the uh, in your fermenter, and it's yep. basically going to do a cold brew with your beer. Exactly. So after the point of like <coughs> uh, getting the cocoa nib from the three and all that stuff, uh, it's all about the extraction and the transformation of the product to get it in your beer after. So um, again, I'll just uh, plug it again. The stone brewing. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Coco Nib Process is a fantastic video. Go check it out and go check out our little... Um, I don't have other... Go check out, say. I don't know why I say that. So just go for the first yeah, this, one and this forget beer, the second this one. This beer is just hammering me. To it's really good. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's, it's let's the look it Omnipolo uh, Pro, Prodromus. Prodromus. So it's Prodromus. a 10.5% That's crazy. Beer. Yeah. Real with uh, there's cocoa nibs, there's vanilla, there's uh, graham uh, crackers. So basically, it, it's, it's a dessert. Like, it really it's a tastes beer. Yeah, it, it doesn't really taste like beer. But again, oh. that's kind of the Omnipolo mission to try to figure out the best way to brew beer that doesn't taste like beer, or just to kind of like uh, not jerk your brain, but kind of like yeah, you know, yeah. They're like not not uh, they're kind of like brew punks. 
you know? A little bit, yeah, yeah. They don't do the things the usual way. And that's what I think uh, I love about those guys. Oh, they're great. I love pretty much everything they've done so far. Anyways, the Zodiac is one of my favorite IPAs, so I mean, right there. We already talked about that. We did in, a, a couple times. Of our last video. I think it's one of the most duplicated beer that we have behind the can that we have in set. the set. <laughs> so we challenge you guys. Uh, to... They can't see them all. That's the oh, problem. I think they're going yeah. to see one or two. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So next time you're in the studio, just point them out. Point them out and yeah. try to figure out how many. And try to uh, steal one. Yeah. yeah, try to steal one. Yeah, it's try to. Let's do that. If if you're here in the studio, yeah. try to steal a can without us knowing. We might notice. Yeah, we we're probably we, we probably are. It's gonna be funny in like a couple of years when a lot of people come by and there's just less and less cans behind. Yeah, there's probably like <laughs> six around. I'm pretty yeah, sure yeah. there's like six around. There's so. a bunch. Anyway, so uh, anything else to add on your? Uh... Yes, high five. Perfect. If you like the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, uh, and share with your friends. Because share with people who you think will like this video. And we've been growing super fast yeah, we have. thanks to you guys. And with all that YouTube rambling around, uh, Casey Neistat posted a nice video, an interview with uh, YouTube CBO. Oh, really? Uh, hey? Late uh, today, uh, as we're filming, and a really, really amazing interview, just pointing out uh, the real issues from YouTube and what's coming up, and it's a really good future for us. And so, nice. Cheers so, to you yeah, guys. Cheers, cheers to you guys. And cheers, cheers to, to Coco uh, and beer. Yeah, definitely. Ooh.